Hello, 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 everybody. We are live. Good evening, everybody. Good to see you all. Um, welcome to Elizabeth Craft Designs on this beautiful Friday. Happy Friday. Um, everything is working, it seems like. Um, I'm seeing a lot of people. Good to see you all. I'm seeing myself, which is never a good thing. Uh, but anyways, um, hello, everybody. Hi, Els. Hi, Joseph. Hi, Ann. Good to see you all. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Sylvia. Um, good to see you all. Hi, Sandra. Oh, you're coming in. Nice to see you all. Um, well, we're live. Good evening, everybody. Um, welcome to Elizabeth Craft Designs. My name is David, and tonight I'm doing the live here. Good to see you all. Um, first of all, don't forget to like, share, and comment to be able to win the $50 gift certificate, because who doesn't want $50 gift certificate, right? That's good. Um, so like, share, and comment, and let us know in the comments that you did. That will help Anya to uh, filter out who did that and not. Hi, Sue. Hi, Linda. Good to see you all. Monique is here. Anya is here. Teresa is here. I saw Els already. So um, yeah, good to see you. Well, tonight I'm going to have fun in my art journal again, um, because I'm catching up. Um, we started the year with the art journal specials. Hi, Femke. Uh, hi, Monique. Hi, Patricia. We started the year with uh, different prompts for the Art Journal collection and I started it very ambitiously and then something happened, well, my job happened fairly, uh, life got in the way, and, but now I'm playing catch up because I do want to finish that. Uh, I do want to finish um, all the different prompts that we've done uh, the year. So let's switch cameras so I can show you what we're going to do, right? Are you ready? Shall we go? Let's get started. So here we are, a mouse can go. I don't want that anywhere near me because I will click something that I should not click. Everything is still running, good to see, good, good, good. Um, we haven't discussed that yet, but I do like the prompt, so why not? Let's come up with some new ones. Um, I will discuss with the design team. Hey, Belinda, missed you yesterday, Belinda. I was saying to Daniel, Belinda wasn't there. Um, right, here's my little art journal that I started at the beginning of the year and it's funny to see because in the beginning of the year I was very inexperienced and yeah, it's nice to see progress as well. Um, so I started off in January which was corrugated cardstock, then I went to texture paste, fabric, well this was clearly fabric, <laughs> it's green as well and that's because I added my own challenge. I don't know if you remember but I've added this challenge to have a different color scheme every month. So I have to, I think I have to stick to that. Um, so hi everybody. And let, my mouse is doing something funny here. So I'm, I, there we go. Now go to the side. I don't want to see you again. There we go. Oh yes, of course, Thanksgiving was yesterday. No, 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 that's family goes before everything. So yeah, this is the color scheme. I'm working on August now, just because I, August, the prompt was acrylic paint and I just wanted to play with acrylic paint. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, yeah, the Dutch soccer team is not doing uh, well. Well, I don't care actually. I don't, I don't care about football. This was, the prompt was watercolor cardstock. This was just me playing. Then we went to May, uh, burlap, and this is where it finished for me. So then I jumped over to uh, November, which is lace. I did this one yesterday and this one was old book paper, which I did before my holiday. So it's a mess. I will organize it when I'm done. Um, but acrylic paint can be a lot. I mean, you've got acrylic paint sprays, you've got all sorts of things, but okay, we'll get to that. Um, I'm using the home jungle version because hey, it's Black Friday and we've got a fantastic sales at Elizabeth Craft Designs, 30% uh, off store white. And this set is in that as well. And it's a fantastic set. It's got loads of stuff in it, um, but I'm using that today um, for my base page and some other bits and bobs as well. So I'll put that to the side, um, but I've cut out my base page. I'm using these stems. I think they even came with that, but I'm not sure. No, this was from the latest release uh, from the original collections, but they're on there as well. It's a fun flourishes and love makes a house a home, which is very true. So, oh, well, that's cool. That's gonna be uh, fun. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start off by using some acrylic paint. So I'm gonna make a mess. And if you know me by now, you know I love to make a mess. Now I'm gonna um, 
start with the lightest color, which is the light. I've got all sorts of acrylic paints here. Um, and I'm going to, well, we're just going to play. Um, I'm going to start with the Dina, Dina Wakely Media. And I'm going to use Cheddar first. Oh, that's nice, Jennifer. Well, I haven't started it yet myself, um, but uh, we'll start that together in December. Um, I haven't prepared anything yet. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to place a little dab of my paint uh, on my craft sheet and I'm going to take my brayer and I'm just going to pick that up and roll that out on my craft sheet until it starts to become, yeah, bit sticky. I don't want it to be too intense on the paper. And then with a flicking motion, I'm going over my paper, just putting that paint on, turning my paper around, putting that onto my paper. Now this is watercolor paper. Um, I chickened out. I wanted to try the soft finish cardstock, but then I thought, oh, I'm going to put a lot of paint and stuff on it. If that doesn't work during a life, uh, that's not going to work. So it doesn't have to be perfect. So just flick it on. Oh, good. So Lisanna finished on time. She did a fantastic life as well, a doodling. Um, I didn't get to see the finished result, but I will look back. Um, so that's the first color I've done. Then I'm going to go to the next color, which is Tangelo. And I'm going to put that on here. Just a little dab of that paint again. Good evening, Anya. Hello, everybody. Well, I, ha I love acrylic inks because I used to do acrylic paint pouring. I stopped doing that because how many paintings does one need? Um, but um, yeah, it's, it's fun to make backgrounds for art journaling, but also for cards. I mean, everything I do here, you can do on a card background. Don't forget that. Uh, because all these techniques uh, I learned because I was doing, a, I, I'm making, I'm a card maker in, in, by heart. So that's how I learned all these techniques. So that's that. And this is what I'm doing. I'm building up layer after layer. Hey, Lisanna, you've finished. Well done. Good job on the that beautiful planner page you did at uh, Do a Ding. So just keep rolling until it becomes, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's, hear that? Becoming sticky, it's almost like that. How, how do you call that? R RSMR stuff. So I'm building up the color in different layers. Like that. Now it's not looking like much now, but trust me, it'll get there. Next, I'm taking this color, which is the Vallejo paint, which I have left over from my paint pouring days, but very intense colors. So be careful with that. These are artist grade colors. So um, they are intense in pigment. So I'm with a very light touch flicking over that. You see that the, the quality difference. Um, these are artist grade paints. But I love the layeredness you get from this technique. So, okay, that's that for now. I'm gonna clean up my mess here. And then I'm gonna go back and start all over again with the lightest color. So I'm gonna go back to the lightest colors now. So I'm just going to clean this up. That's the benefit of using a craft mat. Oh, <laughs> making a complete mess out of things. So that's that. Going in the bin. I had my, yeah, I was prepared. I have kitchen towel here. The cheddar color is really nice. And it, what's fun is you still see it shine through. So now I'm going back in with Cheddar, getting some paint on there. 
it's fantastic texture and it's instantly dry which is also nice well not instantly it takes some time but yeah it's not staying wet that long so i haven't cleaned my brayer and i'm just coming back in with that cheddar and you see it makes a difference you get another layer of color on there that's not enough so i'll get some more I just love to play whether it's with ink or with paints. Yeah, they are. At least that's where I got them from, uh, Patricia. So the Dyna Week, it's called, oh, what's it called? Well, actually, yes, this is proved. It's by, <laughs> from Duoding, the sticker. Um, Dyna Wakely Media Acrylic Paint in the color cheddar. So these are for sale there. So then I'm coming in with the darker color again. It's autumn colors, yes. Well, it's, it's hot. August, hot. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. At least that's what my color thingy was telling me to use these colors. So. It's red and orange. So there we go. Another layer of the darker one. So I'm just doing a flicking motion when I'm picking up the paint and that distributes it quite nicely over my brayer. So I'm just putting on a bit of darker colors there. You can see it really builds up the layers and gives it great structure. That's what I like. And we're not done by all means. So do I want more? Maybe just a little, tiny drop of this. Oh, we know what I'm going to do with that. I'm actually, there we go, making up my mind as I go, giving that a spritz of water, watering that down, and giving it some splatters. Oh yeah, I like that. I like splatters. So that will give it another structure. Like that. Okay, got my water pot there. Um, 200 grams watercolor paper. So, sometimes it's nice to revisit what you've got in your stash, right? Um, I've got a lot of acrylic paints and I just all of a sudden thought, ah, let's try that. So I'm done with this, I think, and if not, I can get some new ones, but I just want to clean up a bit because, well, you have to sometimes, right? Get them out again and play with them, Yona. Even in your planner, you can use that. You can make great backgrounds with it. I will clean this off later. Oh, there you go. So, because I do want some black splatters on there. And for my black splatters, I've got, I took out, there we go, some black Amsterdam acrylic ink. Because yesterday during my life, some people said, use that. So, okay, that was about the white, but oh, this is now stuck, of course. 
Well done, Yoan. Thank you. Oh, there we go. It's open. <laughs> so, uh, clean this off before I can terminate my glue, because this is my glue pin. Clean off my finger. Now, do I need to thin this out? I don't think so. Oh, fantastic. That works. I'll have to get the white version of this as well. Thank you, ladies, for the tip. So that's my background done for now. So I'll put this to the side and let this dry. And of course, I'm doing that in the wrong pot of water. Oh, well, <laughs> I have two pots of water, one clean, one dirty. Where do I put the black? Guess. <laughs> In the clean, of course. Hi, Liverpool. <laughs> Hi, Carl. Yeah, it does. Well, it's the first time I'm doing it, but it works fantastic. So I'll get the white one as well. I know Amsterdam is a fantastic brand, Amsterdam Paints. And yesterday I was fooling around and uh, I got that tip, so. And it works like a charm, so I'll get that. I'll get that tomorrow. Right, that's drying. Now, of course I forgot to... Did I? Did I? Did I? I thought I had... No, sorry, bear with me. I have to get a piece of paper. because I need to stamp something out. So that's there. And I'm gonna stamp this uh, vase out. And that's true, Femke, <laughs> that's true. Oh, I've got dark clothes on for a purpose. Um, but yeah, I guess they name it a splat box for a reason, right? Right, I'm using Persefine in black to stamp my little vase out. Yeah, it's fantastic. I've used it several times, but I love it. It's a well-loved stamp, as you can see. There we go. Stamp that down. Blah. There we go. Put that back. And then I need this little guy. And that's going to be actually fun because I am... Oh, here it is. I'm stamping that out on cork. This is a... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Cork paper, it's called. Um, it's self-adhesive, uh, and it's fantastic. So I'm going to stamp that out using Versafine. It is for sale in the US. Oh, Els already answered that. So I'm going to put that there. Don't waste anything, right? No, I don't like that stamp, so I'm doing that again. Or is it? No, I missed it. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure cork is widely available. Stamp that. Now that's fine. Okay. Put that back. Put this to the side. There we go. Get my little scissors out. 
trim this out. There we go. And trim this out. Now, I know this is boring to watch, but bear with me, guys. It's going to be fun. I hope. <laughs> there we go. Already done. So that doesn't take that long. What I use for the black splatters is Amsterdam acrylic inks. This is an ink, this is not a paint, but it's from Talens and it's called acrylic ink in Onyx Oxide Black, Oxide Black. Right, what I'm doing here is I'm taking a bit of the paint Is it? I th this was very cheap, I think. Maybe I got lucky. Um, water. Spray this down with water. And what I'm doing is I'm going to color this using this acrylic ink. Now I'm not going to be fussy about it because I'm going to trim this out anyway. So. And I'm going to do a lot more to this thingy than what I'm doing now. So bear with me. Oh, I still have time. I'm rushing in a way because there's a lot I need to do, but... I'm trying to catch up on the comments, guys, but that's not always going to... So, clean that up a bit, and then I will pull that color. So that's the fun thing about these Dina Wakely paints. You can also water them down and color with them. You can use watercolors, of course, if you got them, but I've got the paints out now, so I might as well use them. I'm just making the bottom a bit darker. Not that it's that important, because I'm going, as I said, I'm going to do some things to this when it's dry. So, messy coloring, fine with me. I do want that edge to be orange. There we go. Coloring done. So, that's drying. This is done. Cork is done. Okay. Trim this out. So... This is very easy to cut out. So, I'm cutting this out, and then, when this is dry, I'm going to do some bits with this. There, let's cut out, put these to the side, don't need those, put this to the side, dry this. Let's dry both. A messy workspace, never. I'm like Pinocchio. Do you see it in those? But yeah, I'm a messy crafter. This really needs to be dry, so...
so that's that. So I might as well let this be dry for a bit more and then I will etch my page. And this is something I normally never do, but I want to etch with black. Hey Joseph, good to see you. So, because I love the black with the red and I'm gonna do even more with black. So that makes sense in a second. But I love that black makes the red even pop more. I normally never do that, but hey, sometimes you gotta do things different, right? And since I'm not allowed to use any other colors, well, that's my own rule, but okay, I'm using black. So that's that. Might as well do this one as well. That will get rid of the cutting. Best trick ever, just etch when you fussy cut because you don't see your mess. There, done. So, let's clean up again. How's everybody doing? Still there? Still with me? Okay. I'm trying to keep it sort of cleanish. So that's that. That's drying. That's dry actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this stamp from the Fun Flourishes. That happens to me. If I clean out my craft room, I've, I've lost everything. And when it's a mess, I know where everything is. Funny, isn't it? There we go. That's on there. So let's get my ink out again. I'm just going to stamp that on this side, I think. Now is the time where I decide is the page going to be like this or like that. But I think I'm going to do it. Um, let me check something off camera. I'll do it like this. <laughs> ink up really well because this is now sort of plasticky. So I'm just going to stamp that here and give that ink some time to stick to that acrylic paint. Um, because it's not like normal stamping. Now it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to do some heat embossing on that. and it didn't work. There we go. That's because of the acrylic paint, but I don't mind. And I don't want to use a different kind of ink because I'm going to heat emboss. So I'm going to try again. Um, press like that. I tested it and it worked. So it should work now. There we go. Move quick. Get my heat embossing out. My embossing powder, I mean, because that should just stick to that. There we go. And I'm going to do one more. So I'll put this one to the side, put another stamp on. That's why I'm using the uh, embossing powder as well. And it's giving it a nice intense black shine. Stamp that there. Exactly, Sylvia. Let's see if it's good enough. It's good enough. There. It sticks to it perfectly. So that's that. I'm going to put this back in here. This is a WOW black embossing powder. And I find, so far, this is the only black embossing powder I find that does not stick everywhere. 
as you can see. So that is that. Um, I'm going to melt this and then we're going to move on to the next. Now the bottom one is a bit messy, but I don't mind that much. It's going to be covered up anyway. I'm going to figure that out later, Natasha. <laughs> uh, no, I'm going to be putting some pages together and then I will have something on the other side later on. Um, I don't know, Belinda. Let me see. Super fine. It's a super fine. Now, this is going to be here. You see, that's not going to be terrible. Um, so... Let's move on to the next bit, which is clear embossing ink or sticky ink, that is. And I'm going to press that down onto this vase that we've just colored with the acrylic ink. And now it's dry, so I can do that safely. Next, I've got... This triple thick clear embossing powder, ultra thick, I should say, and I'm going to dump that on there. So that is that just. And then I will melt that, but I will melt that from the back. Now let me get something out because this is not going, <laughs> it's going to burn my fingers. I've got these little hands from um, Ranger, but in this case I don't want to use them because, I d yeah, that's too much grab a hole. So I'm going to melt that from the back just so that it's uh, not blowing that embossing powder everywhere because this is quite thick and heavy embossing powder. And then I'm going to heat it from the front, come back quickly and scoop up some of this and that will stick to it again. So we'll create quite thick layers of embossing powder on here, like that, and heat up again. Well, we're not done yet, Belinda. Bear with me. So, doing that. One last dump of thick, uh, triple thick. And then we'll do the next part.
No, um, I'm not using that on purpose in this case, Femke. Because this is so... Uh, I'm building up so much thickness, the hands will press into it too much. So that's why I'm not doing that. So, this needs to cool. This can go away. And now, I'm going to put another layer of embossing powder on there, but a different kind. So I'm going to use the new Lumberjack, uh, not Lumber, Lumberjack plate uh, embossing powder. Now the fun thing about um, the Distress embossing powders is, is this cold? Not yet. Uh, is that it is, um, well then you don't blow away the, the embossing powder. So it's quite a fun technique. Uh, and you get it very smooth, you see that? Very smooth and shiny. Love it. Um, now, I was saying, I was saying something. What was I saying? Oh yeah, the fun thing about the Distress embossing powders is that they are transparent. Um, so you will see the original color through. That's what I want. So I'm gonna get my embossing ink out again, go over that embossing powder. Like so. Get my tweezers and dump that on there. And again, as I said, you can use these techniques in your planner, in your art journaling, or in your card making. So that's that's the fun about these kind of techniques. Uh, yeah, I'm using them in my art journal now, but you can really, really use them with anything. Whether that's a planner or making a card, coloring Santa. Um, this is called Distress Glaze, I think. Yeah. Ranger Distress Glaze in Lumberjack Plate. It's the new color. When you overheat it, the color will be gone. That's true. That's why I also heat from the back. And when it's melted, um, it's melted. Now, in this case, I will heat it from the front because um, otherwise it'll sink in too quick into the uh, clear. But when it's shiny, move on. Don't stay in one place too long. There we go. And I like this effect where the orange is peeking through. Hot. Okay. Now, there's a little spot there. I don't mind. That adds to the grungy look. So... Then I've got this piece cut out of cork and I want to put that there, but I want to trim off the top bit because, well, I don't need it. So I'm just going to, uh, this is going that way, there we go, and from here, just round that off. I want to around that corner here as well. It's, doesn't that look cool? Now I'm going to let that cool and then I'm going to do even something cooler with that. Now, this is way too clean for me. So I'm coming in with my black and I'm going to grunge that up. Bringing back the black that I used from the sides and that I used on here. Yeah, if you, it goes dull when you uh, uh, heat it too much. So, that is that. That's going to be on this side. That's going to be there. With my little top on it. So the cork comes back. I like that when something comes back. Um, then, what I do, did, um, and I prepared that, is I've got these little um, plant pots that I have 
cut out of fairly this paper that I stamped on. Um, I've got one more, bear with me. Oh, it's under there. Go, go, come on, come on. You can do it, you can do it. Yes, there it is. Um, I trimmed that out. This is in the, the die set that I'm using today. Uh, trim these out and put some uh, glossy accents on it because I wanted the gloss to come back. Is this cold yet? Yes. Look at what I'm doing now. It should crack. There we go. Mm, still not cold enough. There we go. There. Ah, there we go. I love this. You see these little cracks in there? I just, I just, I, I can't. I love it. I love it. So, I'm just shaping this tiny bit to keep these cracks open. And that's going to be there. That's going to be there. Okay. Let's get some glue. It's like a broken vase. It is. It is. Um, right, I've got these black uh, plants thingies. Okay, David, get your tweezers out because this is driving me crazy. These little thingies and my big fingers, my chop fingers, doesn't work. Right, let's see. No, that one is going in the little one, I think. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put these together using my glue. That's one. That is going to be number two. You could ink the cracks. Yeah. I'm not going to because there's already a lot of black and darker colors on there. But you could definitely do something with the cracks. Uh, but they are very visible. I'm not sure the camera picks it up, but the orange is shining through. The orange that's on the layer, the, the first layer, that is shining through. You see? Um, so that is what I want to see. So that's why I'm not inking them up. Oh, there we go. Love that. That was a good one. <laughs> so it has to be cool to do that. There we go. Dunskis. So that's that. That's going to be there. That's going to be behind this one. And that little one is going to go there. I'm going to keep him separate, I think. Exactly, Judy. That's what. That's why I don't want to ink up. The, the orange that's underneath shines through the cracks. That's what I love about this effect. Um, so, yeah. So I'm going to have these three there. Now, it's time to assemble. Let's get to it. So this comes with adhesive on the back, which I like. Now I think before I do that, I'm just thinking uh, I need another. I'm going to stamp on here as well, because I want that to come back and on the top there as well. So let me close my glue, because otherwise that will be a disaster. Don't you love it when a plan changes in the middle of uh, when you're working? This can go. Don't need that. Ink this one up again. I love these stamps. It's fantastic. Up, go on there. 
there we go and again doesn't have to be perfect because I'm putting embossing powder over it and there so get my black embossing powder again as well that's going back in the pot and close this up they're lovely the glazes um, and because they're transparent you can create different effects with it than with other It is, isn't it? Adjusting your plans. There we go. Oh, here's the other one. Now we're done with the noise, sorry about that. And let me see if I can peel this off. It's adhesive backing, so it should work. Yeah, there we go. And I will just put that here at the bottom. There we go. I love that black peeking out there. And then the idea I got was to put him there, him there, and this one behind there. Then I've got this little thingy, acrylic paint, that I'm going to put on here. Thank you, Sandra. Getting there, if this wants to work with me and wants to let go of my finger, come on. So the prompt was acrylic. Uh, let's do it like that. Again, making up as I go. Acrylic and the paint will be there. And I've tried it with my tweezers to get this off, and it, that didn't work. So, acrylic paint. There we go. Then I want this little one to stand right on here. So, let's get the glue out and put him down. And start with the big one. <laughs> I love that, Dominic. Oh no, it's not Dominic. Uh, Judy said that. He tool his music. Yeah. Well, for us crafters, it is, I guess. There we go. Put that down right there. 